everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Now it's time to take a look at our week ahead. Now sometimes my week ahead videos are pretty straightforward. We take a look at the energies surrounding certain areas, things that are going to be happening in the news, political, financial, those kind of things. And I do try to pull in stuff like that. Other times, the energy of the week is telling a story when I go to sit down with this. And that's what I'm feeling like this week is doing. So if you're looking for like a concrete week ahead where I lay it out for you, um, this isn't the week for that, okay? This is gonna be really abstract. I will try to pull it together at the end and bring it all together and wrap it in a nice neat bow so it makes a lot of sense. But the story wants to emerge this week, and I think I know where it's going, but this is even a little path of discovery for me. So, um, now, I am not an artist. In fact, I'm a, I, I, I do not draw. I'm terrible at drawing. Um, I do have family members who are amazing artists, but they did not get it from their aunt, okay? My nieces and nephews are wonderfully creative. Um, I'm just creative in other ways. So anyway, but I drew something and I, I don't know if I want to show you guys because my, seriously, this is like embarrassing. So I may just describe to you what I wrote down so I don't have to show you my horrible drawing. <laughs> okay, but here's, here's what I think is coming. It feels as though Picture a road trip and the picture that's emerging is the car all packed up and ready to go and starting out on a road trip and they're going along and as road trips do, there's different ways and directions that you can take, different exits, different vistas, different things to do and view. I feel like at some point in this road, there is a divergent path and the road can go this way and the road can go another way, like coming to a fork in the road. And the one fork, if you can imagine, has lots of maybe some potholes in the road, some bumps in the road, not very smooth. And I wrote down bumpy ride. So one section of this road is like oh my gosh, you know, you're getting jostled all over the car, the road is horrible condition, but just beyond that is a vista point. And the vista point is, if you imagine a vista point on a road trip, you pull off to the side, maybe there's lots of parking, maybe there's a little picnic area, and you have a viewpoint and you can see the future so to speak. Okay, you can see ahead, you can see the mountains, you can see the lake, you can see way out there. And that's what this is. It's like the goal, the apex, what we're aiming toward. It was a little bumpy getting there. Okay. Now the other road that diverged from this path is one that takes a little bit of a south road. It's going a little bit away from that beautiful vista point. And this road, suddenly you find, oh crud, I have a flat tire. So you deal with your flat tire, and then you're, you're constantly thinking, oh man, we really, should go, we really should get over to that vista point where we can see better and have that nice view. And all along this other road is all about, oh my gosh, how do we get over there? How do we get to the vista point? How do we get to that other road that we should be on? Okay, you following me? Um, <laughs> I know this is abstract, so thank you for hanging in with me. Okay, now, so you, after the flat tire, you're going along this road and you keep seeing these exits, like take an exit, take an exit. You need to go here, you need to leave this road, go on this other road, but you're going along, all of a sudden you have low fuel. So a flat tire, low fuel, I keep seeing these exits, I don't know which exit I wanna take, but everything is saying you need to get on this other road that takes you to the vista. 
Now, eventually, this road, with all the trouble, comes to a dead end. And there's a detour sign. And all of a sudden, the road becomes bumpy. There's potholes in the road. And you get jostled and all of that in the car. And it's a very bumpy ride. But then just beyond that, you realize that the Vista Point is ahead. So one road was bumpy at the beginning, but got you there quicker. The other road went through a lot. You had a flat tire. You had low fuel, low energy. You had all these exits. It was confusing. Which road do I take? How do I get to where I need to go? What am I supposed to do? And then finally that ends. And a new vista opens up and you're back to being on a bumpy ride, but having it open up to the vista. So that's what this week is. And I'm not sure exactly which road we're on. Are we going to take the bumpy ride now that gets us to where we wanna go much quicker? Where the payoff is much better? A short bumpy ride? Or a long drawn out painful process that gets you to the bumpy ride and then gets you to the vista? So that's where we're at. That's where the energy is for this week. Now I'm gonna pull up the cards and continue this video. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I did write out some questions. And the first one is, what can we expect to see this week? Maybe in the news, that kind of thing. Now I have the messenger on this. I have the page of rods. And what I am picking up on with this card, this messenger card, I'm focused in on the rod that is blossoming out near the ear and the reeds in the background representing to me a lot of expectation, but the hat covering the eyes. So what we're going to be seeing is actually hearing this week. The focus this week is more about hearing, not seeing. So if we're expecting to see results or see something, it's more about what we're hearing possibly coming. I do feel like something's getting into position, something is getting ready, but it's mostly hearing about it, not seeing anything based on expectation, okay? It's hearing only. So, seeing isn't quite believing this week. So the obstacle we face this week is the king. Could be literal, could be a leader, something about authority or rulership that is actually an obstacle or a block this week. What are the lessons we will learn this week? I've got a major arcana on this, the temperance card. This is a card of patience. So this might have to be a week of be patient. Things are percolating under the surface, but there's some blocks in the way in terms of who's in charge. And so we're gonna to have to wait this out and be patient this week. So whatever people are expecting to happen, you might be hearing things, but the, the payload, it's like we're, we're, on the, we're on that road. It's either the bumpy ride now or the bumpy ride at the end, okay? The good news is, if I can jump ahead, is that we will get there either way, okay? There, this road that we're on we might take a detour around, but they end up at the same place, which is good. It's a view, it's a viewpoint, a vista point. It's having like being in the promised land. Okay. One, one way gets you there quicker. The other takes time. And I think we're going to decide by the end of the week, which road we're on. So what we will leave behind this week, we have a two. This is the two of wands and the card of having a vision, looking at the future, picturing what you want to see and what you want to have happen. And that is what we're leave behind. 
uh, there are some expectations that perhaps the bumpy road will reveal that we're going to have to perhaps leave behind some of the idealistic thoughts of what we thought was going to take place in our collective experience here. This is mostly for the United States, I'm feeling. And so we might have to drop some of our lofty expectations on what we expect to happen or think should happen, okay? What do we need to know or understand? And I've got the Two of Cups, another two. This is a card about partnership, friendship, relationship. So this is a union too. These two people are coming together in a union type of way. And so that's what we need to know and understand and understand is that things are coming together. Things are, there is some movement behind the scenes. If we drop our expectation of what we think should happen, perhaps what we'll understand is that an even bigger, more beautiful outcome awaits, but we're on the road that we think we're supposed to be on and everything within us is saying you're supposed to get to this vista point but you kind of have to drop your expectations and go where the road takes you and eventually like that one road comes to a dead end and you'll end up where you need to be anyway the process is up to us which path do you want to choose so this card is about risk and this is on the outcome. A little hard card to see on the outcome of what, what we can expect with this journey, this traveling that we're on. You know, sometimes it's darkest just before the dawn, they say. And I think that's the case here. This feels like things have to really bottom out and before the new path forward can be revealed. But just know that a vista awaits, a promised land awaits, a viewpoint awaits. And we will have a clearer view of where the beauty is in all of this journey that we've been on and maybe what it all means and maybe all of the sacrifice and all of the difficulties, perhaps the flat tire, the low fuel, the confusion, the bumpy ride, perhaps all of that will give way and be forgotten once the beauty of the Vista Point arrives. And we can see clearly what the future is, what the outlook is for where we want to go and where we want to be and how we want to incorporate what we see into the next leg of the journey. The underneath card, we have the, another two, this time the two of swords. And this girl here is blindfolded and the swords crossing, meaning that she's not very receptive and not seeing clearly what's ahead. And she has maybe to work out her own issues before she can see the truth and see clearly again. And that's what this week is about. It's about dropping expectations, learning to be patient, and knowing that things are moving into place. And eventually we will get to where we're supposed to be. It may take a little longer and it may feel like it's, maybe you feel like giving up or it's too much or I don't understand why everything is just not falling into line and falling into alignment with, with what we wanna be doing, with where we need to be going. So I do think things are lining up behind the scenes but it may, 
it may feel like a little painful this week because things aren't just happening like they should. Okay, like we think they should. Okay. So that's what I have for this week. So hang in there. Um, focus on the bright future with that vista point on the other side of this craziness and this leg of the journey that's a little daunting right now. So that's what I have for this week. Thanks for joining me on this abstract version of our week ahead. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks everybody. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.